It's Mark here on the Culinary Compass. I am here today to talk to you about garlic scapes. That's these funky looking things that uh, you may have seen in the farmer's market and be like, what is that? By the way, below this video is a video from last year where I talk about garlic scapes, but today may be a little new information. So I did mention last year how I love using garlic scapes in floral arrangements. So a couple of ideas on preparing garlic scapes. Um, number one, just saute them. Chop them into pieces or whole. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter, some salt and pepper, simple. Voila. Uh, take the garlic scapes, whole, and plunge them into boiling water. It's like two minutes, let's call it. Depending how thick the garlic scapes are, but let's call it two minutes. Pull them out, let them cool down. I just put them down on a dishcloth or something where they can kind of drain a little and dry off. And then I chop them up. So now you have room temperature, kind of very soft and tender garlic scapes to drop on the top of your salad. Um, wonderful, fantastic way to use garlic scapes because you get that little bite of something very different than the lettuce. A couple of other ways to use garlic scapes. One is to barbecue them, to grill them. Um, basically, I would take a, a bunch of garlic scapes, put them in a baking dish or something or any vessel, uh, drizzle some olive oil on it, a little salt, just let it sit in there for a few minutes, move it around so that the oil gets all over it. Um, and then plop it onto your uh, grill at a very low heat if possible and give it a little time so it doesn't get burnt but a little charred. There's all kinds of uses that may come to your mind. One that may not that I adore doing with vegetables is taking this, quickly boiling it like I said before and then throwing it in a Cuisinart or a blender and grinding it up and then putting it into your ice tray and freezing that, that slurry, that pulp, when it's all frozen, taking those out and putting them in a, a, a plastic bag, baggie, inside of your freezer. And anytime you're making a sauce, anytime you're making anything where you'd like a little bit of a garlic flavor, but you don't want uh, too strong of a garlic flavor, you don't want chopped garlic in there, you take one, two, three cubes, as many as you need, and you plop them in your saute pan. So there's a bunch of uses for garlic scapes, some that are very traditional, you'd use for any vegetable, some that maybe are a little bit out of the box. Buy garlic scapes at your farmer's market. Uh, unless you grow them, you know how to use them. Buy garlic scapes. You only can get them for like maybe two, three, four weeks in the entire year, and that makes them even more precious. All right. That's it for today, my favorite allium of the month of June. Ciao for now.